So, a uh, little story obviously from the, uh, the third test, uh, the old broken bat incident. Bit of background story on this bat. I was going through my, my uh, garage and I found, found this bat and um, hit a couple of balls up with it and thought it sounded all right. Um, so I chucked it in my bag and uh, had, a, had a few hits with it in the net sessions in Dubai and, and the start of the Indian tour and thought it, was pretty, it sounded pretty good. And after day one of the third test, just put my pads on and looked, looked down at my bat, I saw a, a little split in the, in the stickers just below the shoulder of the bat and I was, I was looking at it going, oh, I don't think that's quite right and I asked a few of the boys, do you reckon this is going to last? And they're like, oh, don't think, it, don't think it's going to last too long. Sure enough, first ball, uh, obviously caught one a little bit high on the bat there. Got um, first ball from Mumesh Adaf on day two and it, it hit quite high up on the shoulder and obviously blew the bat apart and um, ended up looking at half the bat on the, on the middle of the wicket and got sent out a new beautiful kookaburra bat and started thinking to myself I was only three shots away from 100 and um, quickly walked away from the wicket and started uh, pushing some dust around to, to try to eradicate myself of those thoughts and, and get back to the job at hand and uh, making sure I was batting as long as possible with Stephen out there. So this bat's still not done though. It's, um, it's gonna go to a good home. My, my local club, uh, South Belgrave, are currently getting their, their change rooms done uh, or redone at the moment. So this will go down to the, into the change rooms and they'll, they'll hang it up very proudly. So uh, can't wait for them to, to put this up in the new rooms and uh, have people come, come and have a look at it. So.